This here is Creed Millisim Imperial. One of the more popular scents from Creed. It's gonna run you well over $400 at retail and I think still around $300 or more at discounters. Not cheap. This is Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Milestone. This really kind of looked up and inspired to be like Millisim Imperial. This one costs you anywhere from $40 to $50. Do you see the appeal here? Do you see why people love fragrances like this so much? We're gonna be going over that today. I'm gonna tell you how this one smells, how it performs, how it compares to Millisim Imperial, and if I think it's a good clone or alternative to Millisim Imperial. In a video about a week ago, I did a full review on Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Siage, which is a clone of Creed Silver Mountain Water. You guys really liked that one, you found it informative, so I figured I would go and touch this one again and cover it a little bit more here and just kind of guide you in a direction to uh, a nice alternative. Let's go and start off with how this fragrance smells. Now when you first spray it on, right up top, it opens with this nice fruity, soft, musky, semi-aquatic type of smell. And I'll tell you, Millicene Imperial is one of those fragrances that just smell so good. All right, now, a lot of fragrances do smell so good, but there's really no other way to describe it. What they did there with that DNA is just incredible. And our moth managed to capture that incredibly well here. Uh, the opening is quite similar to Millicene Imperial. It's not harsh, it's not synthetic, it hits it nail on the head. There are tons and tons of aquatic fragrances out there. There are tons and tons of citrus fragrances out there, and there are a lot of musky fragrances out there as well. So what makes this smell so special? It's one where you have to experience it for yourself. Just the way it comes together so soft and, and subdued and mild, but at the same time so bright and rich, it's something that ultimately smells like a, a, a very expensive fragrance. Now I'm not saying that it's worth the 400 plus dollars at retail for the Creed, but it does come across as smelling of luxury. Uh, some people have described it as smelling like liquid gold, and that's pretty much about what I would sum it up to be. I don't really get that type of feeling from Silver Mountain Water or Royal Water, or even something like Green Irish Tweed, or even Aventus. I mean, Aventus is top notch too, as you guys know, I'm sure, Aventus everywhere. Uh, but there's something about this smell, this DNA, that really is captivating. Up top, this one has sea notes, red fruits, bergamot. In the mid, it has violet, white woods, sandalwood, and the base, musk, ambroxan, and vetiver. So there are some similarities in the note breakdowns between Milestone and Millicene Imperial. However, I'm not really focusing too much on the note breakdown to convey the similarities or differences. I'm going off of the smell here because either brand could really put in whatever they want in the note breakdown and then we'll just sit here and say, oh yeah, I pick up on that. Yeah, totally. And it may not even be in there. Going off of scent alone, you do get quite a bit of a similar opening here. Uh, one thing about Millicene Imperial is back in the day, it was known for having this kind of salty watermelon opening or the salty melon opening. And over the years, as it's been changed, reformulated, batch variation, whatever you want to call it, it's kind of lost that touch. I find here that with Milestone, this almost touches back on some older batches of Millicene Imperial. So if you go out and buy a brand new bottle of Creed Millicene Imperial, you may notice that it might smell a bit different to this. And it's not necessarily that they didn't do a good job of cloning how it smells. It's more so that over the years, the scent by Creed has changed. And I think our moth was maybe shooting for, you know, pre-reformulation batches. Because you get a bit of a saltiness. You get this nice red fruits, melon, citrusy, fruity type of smell up top, adding a little bit of sweetness. You get the musk, and there's a lot of musk in here, just adding a nice kind of soft uh, textured base to it. You pick up on a little bit of that sandalwood in the dry down, just adding kind of a, a creaminess. This isn't quite your typical aquatic or marine scent. It doesn't come across like a nautica or anything like that, which obviously does do aquatics very well, but over time those start can start to get a little bit boring. This one here really does kind of capture its own thing, or the Creed did, and then Armaf here is making their uh, interpretation of it. This one here really sparkles and shines in the high heat and the warm weather. So spring and summer is gonna be the time of year to wear this. However, even though we are into fall, 
if you're starting to maybe miss some fragrances that remind you of summer and you maybe have a warm day coming up in fall, like today, for example, it's getting up to like 70 and the sun's out, so it feels pretty good. If you want to kind of just wear something that takes you back to summer, transports you right there, something like this would work really well because it does have this fun, high-end, luxurious summertime appeal. So one of the main issues with Milseum Imperial is the performance to price ratio is pretty bad. However, with Milestone, I get pretty good performance out of this one, typically around seven hours. Now this can depend on your skin, the weather conditions, how much you're applying, where you're applying, that sort of thing. Typically, if I want to get the most amount of longevity as I can, I will do one or two sprays to my shirt, my clothing, and that will help to extend the longevity, although not so much help the projection. So following those principles and on my skin and warm weather, about seven hours is what I expect to get. The more heat you get on this one, the better it's going to project. The more sprays you do, the better it's going to project. And that's pretty much standard across the board. Even winter fragrances. If you were to wear something like Spice Bomb Extreme in the summer, it's going to project better than it would in the winter time. Even though it's not appropriate for the heat, uh, heat just has a way of really kind of bringing a scent to life. It opens it up. You smell notes that maybe you hadn't picked up on before. It changes how it comes across and in turn also really makes it pump out. Now with that being said, I do find this one to generally be softer on my skin. It doesn't push out a whole lot. You don't get a whole lot of distance, but what you do get is a ton of hang time in the air. When I sprayed this one on in the beginning, I can still smell it now. Like this stuff will hang in the air for quite a while, no joke. And personally, I prefer that over super strong projection. If I'm able to walk through a room and leave a nice trail behind me as I exit, that's pretty cool. And I would take that over filling up an entire room if I'm standing in one spot. It's kind of obnoxious at that point, depending on the type of situation that you're going to. I find this type of performance to be overall just a bit easier to pull off. So Armoff is known for being a clone company. That's kind of what they do here. One of the fragrances that put them on the map was Club de Nuit Intense Man. And now I've talked about this multiple times, but I still want to cover it here quickly. Uh, that fragrance is an Aventus clone. And the one of the main drawbacks is the opening is kind of harsh. Uh, it's kind of has a very stringent, sharp lemon top note. It does fade off and the scent does get much better after, but the opening is not so good. With this one here, the opening is not stringent or harsh or synthetic or anything. It is smooth from opening to dry down. So our moth has really stepped up their quality over the years, I would say. And after all, when it comes to a fragrance like Millicene Imperial especially, the opening is one of the best parts because you get all of that fruitiness, that kind of sweetness, the salty, uh, aquatic muskiness all together all at once. It really catches your attention. Obviously, the dry down smells great as well, but you know, it's really you want to experience the opening as best as you can. And so with the arm off, they made sure that they focused on the opening and they gave us something that really does open up. Very nice, very high quality. And it's the same with Armoff Siage, the Silver Mountain Water Clone. I said the same thing in that review. And that's kind of another one where the opening is really, really good. And so you want to make sure you experience that and represent that the best you can. And Armoff managed to do that here. Who knows, maybe they fixed Club de Nuit Intense Man over the years. I haven't smelled it in a long time, but just from back when I remember, and if you look back on reviews, the general consensus was the opening kind of sucked. This can be worn casually or formally, in my opinion. I mean, you can dress this up in the summertime. You can dress it down in the summertime. It's very versatile here. Even though it has this kind of playful, summery, fruity smell, kind of tropical, it also has just this uh, luxurious, kind of uh, chic, classy richness about it. Like I said in the beginning, this smells of high end here. And also, this scent is a great compliment getter. Uh, it's widely recognized across the board as just being super pleasant. And what's also nice about this one is it is unisex. Uh, Creed's is listed as unisex, and I don't know if this one technically is listed that way or not, but I think it is. I mean, it smells very similar to Millicene Imperial after all, which is definitely unisex for me. So women can pull this one off and rake in some compliments, and the same with men. It's pretty much cut right down the middle, so don't worry about it smelling too feminine. Don't worry about it smelling too masculine either. Really, anyone can pull this off. All you have to do is like how it smells. And again, going back to that price point, $40 to $50 on discounters, depending where you shop, I will link it down below to a few different websites. So that way you can click those and shop around and find the best price for you. Do I think it is worth the pickup and worth the price? 1,000% yes. The way Creed has gone over the years, in my opinion, has really made it almost a bit more challenging for me to recommend. 
And this is coming from someone who has a big Creed collection. You've probably seen it in my collection videos and I've talked about it, all that sort of thing. I've got a lot of them. I still do collect and pick up Creed's every now and then, so I'm not against the brand. But, you know, they've just kind of uh, done some things that make some of us a little bit upset, a little bit frustrated here. And uh, so it makes it harder for me to just say, hey, go out and buy Millicent Imperial. Go pay three or four hundred dollars for it. That's tough, you know, especially for people who just don't want to spend that type of money on a cent. And if you don't want to spend that type of money and you don't want to spend money on a more expensive clone, you can get this one here falling right in that mid range. Maybe there's cheaper ones out there, but I would question that they're going to hold up in terms of quality here and everything. I think all in all, this is a really good package. I always shoot it straight with you guys. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and say a clone sucks because I'm against clones because I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and say that it sucks because I'm a Creed fanboy. You know I'm not. And I'm also not gonna sit here and just hype this one up because, oh, clones are so amazing and everyone should only buy clones. I don't think that either. I'm a straight shooter going right down the middle here. If this is good, which it is, I'm gonna tell you, and if it was bad, I would tell you as well. Our Moth has done some really good things here, and if you want to get your hands on Millicent Imperial without spending the money, check out Milestone. It will be linked down below. Let me know your thoughts on Milestone down below. Let me know your favorite clone from our Moth. And if you wanna see some vlogs, behind the scenes content, some bonus top tens, if you wanna chat with me one-on-one -on -one in a group chat, get all your questions answered, uh, check out the channel memberships that will be linked down below or hit the join button down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.